Well, on the electricity side, and we'll get to nuclear in a minute because you and I share a passion in that being a great source. And there's all kinds of things. One, the need for electricity. Second, you have good, scalable, clean, cost-effective power. You can solve all kinds of ills. What are the other energy sources of renewables and green energy that are capturing your attention outside of nuclear? Well, of course, we want to keep driving solar to be cheaper. You know, that's gone way better than was expected. Uh, and there's some new things using perovskites that'll drive the efficiency up of that. You know, we want to drive wind costs down, including offshore wind, which is still quite a bit at a premium. We want to improve energy storage, but it's not realistic to think we'll completely solve that problem, which is why why you, you need nuclear in, in the mix uh, as well. Geothermal actually looks like it might play a role. You know, the western half of the United States actually has pretty good hot rocks. Uh, and then there's geothermal companies that want to dig really deep holes. Uh, that's more early stage. But Fervo and one other company are showing that they can actually get reasonably good pricing. And now they're scaling up. Uh, you know, Google just did a purchase agreement at a, at a premium to help them scale up, which is, uh, you know, all the tech companies are very oriented towards not raising their emissions, which will take advantage of that to get these products onto a learning curve. You know, eventually we want to have a zero green premium, but somebody has to help get us, you know, which solar was very subsidized and then... It, it, under certain definitions, has now gotten to a, a zero green premium. There's a few things like tidal that probably is pretty limited. Uh, you know, solar panels in space, maybe, you know, some people have even talked about, okay, put the whole data center up there. Uh, it's just bits. Uh, actually, moving bits from space to ground is easier than moving energy uh, from space to ground. So, you know, and particularly because launch costs are down, you can at least dream of, of those things. That's kind of uh, a far out thing, but, uh, you know, should be in the portfolio of, of innovation. 